Yes. Yes. All equipment drops location in boss. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to tell you how do you get all the equipment in first scene. Killing bandit leader will get you berserker tape. Which gives you strength buff and sword buff. Next location is Marine Island. Marine Captain drops Marksman Goggles. Marksman Goggles is the best accessories for gunners. Marksman Goggles gives gun and stamina buff. It also drops by killing Tyrant Fishman, which located at Lighthouse Island. In Samurai Island is place. All the Samurai armor can be dropped by killing Samurai. If you are swordman you will need all this equipment. There are two types of armor. One is higher defend and status exchange lesser buff for sword. Another one is higher sword status buff but lesser defense buff. If you need a better helmet you should go for the samurai boss. Shogun Helmet is the best for Swordman as well. Hunter Earrings is the best for Swordman. Hunter spawn every 4 to 5 minutes. There is a chance to drop Hunter Earring. And a guaranteed first chest drop. Also to obtain Poacher's Cloak you have to wait for it spawn. You can see somebody with Gem's backpack at his Poacher. Compared to Hunter, Poacher is just too rare. Next is the Alabaster Island. Criminal Overlord drops two types of equipment like cross equipment and ember equipment. Cross equipment is best for just stamina and defense status buff. And ember equipment buff all the attack style but exclude first. location is Baratai Island. In Baratai Island you can get the tankiest earring. It can be obtained by killing kickboxing champions. Equipment is the best for cursed fruit user. 
This can only be obtained from the last stage bosses in Dungeon. It also has good value for trading. Some people struggle with this stage, you just have to do Jeppo. Lure them all and wait for your skill cooldown, that's it.